Okay, ready, buddy? You excited? Yeah, that's how you glad you your face. <laughs> <laughs> Five Star Barbershop started over on Stanley Street not too long ago. Yeah. Uh, it's been a year already? It's been three years. Three years already? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, we just relocated in December 2016. You want to have to take a break? It's a team effort. Yeah. So we haven't really met him, but uh, what's your name? Uh, it's Eddie. Eddie. Eddie Lopez. Eddie Lopez. Yeah. How long have you been uh, cutting hair with Eddie? Uh, just over a year now. I just, I love him. He's good at it. Yeah, it, does, it looks like. <laughs> you uh, been uh, cutting hair for a long time? Yeah, I've been cutting since I was 15 years old. Oh. I'm 25 now. You should have said, your name is Shane. Shane, that's right. <laughs> How many uh, different barbershops have you worked at? Uh, I've only worked at one other barbershop, and that's where I met Lopez. Okay, cool. So Thank Lopez you. kind of took me under his wing uh, when I was just about 16 years old. And Sam, you been uh, working with Shane for a while? Uh, yeah, actually. I've been uh, with Shane for like four years now, and I figured out about five star through Instagram. Oh, nice. So I said, I gotta check this place out, and I've been stuck since. What do you like uh, most about this place? Honestly, the quality and it's not rushed, you know? I'm getting like a good cut every time. I feel good walking out. Nice. So, Mr. Lopez, how long have you yeah, been a barber, my friend? This will be my 12th year. Wow, yeah. 12 years. I used to cut hair just at home, little hobby thing. I knew of a shop that was downtown. Went there, asked them, you know, try me out. I'm just here for the summer. It was just history from there, man. I, I, I loved what I did. I mean, it's been, it's been fun ever since, man. How was soccer this morning, Julia? Good? Yeah? Are the barbers sometimes are therapists? So. Very, very much so. so even just the hair in itself just changes people's moods, right? Yeah. Not everybody has the same head structure, just like everything's different every time. Every client's different. You get to know people on a personal level. Like I just I love the interaction and the actual aspect of the art of cutting hair. Oh, you did it. Hi, huh? You did it. Oh, my Let's make sure your clients enjoy the cuts. Uh, oh, you been an outstanding client for a while, have you? Oh, man. I, I moved to London from uh, from Detroit about three years ago, and I would drive back and forth to Detroit to get a haircut. So, oh, wow. A haircut for me was, was a six hour ordeal. Uh, I heard about uh, Lopez's shop. I like the atmosphere. I like the way that they, it's more like a family type of thing, right? You know what I mean? A bit older than Lopez. I've been going to barbershops for a long, long time. Barbershop is, it's almost like a home away from home, right? You go, you have conversation, you combine people and, you know, you talk. And like you said, as far as mentors and stuff, you know, some of my mentors I've met at the barbershop, you know? Nice. Talk about everything from family to politics to sports to, to whatever. It's a getaway, right? You know what I mean? You got the family, you got work, you got home life stuff. Go to barbershop to get away for a little bit. And then a the bonus, you come out looking a little bit uh, prettier than you did when yeah. you came in. Feeling so, better too, right? Not bad. So it's not a bad deal. Well, I think it says a lot about these guys if you know if you were making a six hour trip to get oh, your haircut. Yeah. And, and these guys have replaced that. Uh, it does say, obviously, a lot about what they do around here. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, like these guys, they, they all have a good rapport with each other, and, and the customers see that too, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you could, you could go into a place and you can tell when people like to work with each other, right? That's the type of atmosphere you want to be in. Yeah. And then you're sitting in a chair, and you let this guy at your neck with a razor or a shaver, <laughs> and you want to be comfortable, right? Yeah, so, for sure. These guys do a great job, man. I like them, man. Yeah. Hey, yo! So it's, it's obvious that I enjoy this because I can't do this anymore. I came in here to get my eyebrows trimmed, but apparently they don't do that. He walked in and the whole place went silent. Yeah, it's true. It's so true that I'm like, what the hell is this guy doing here? What's going on? All right, so this is Christian. Hey, how are you doing? Good, man. So you're another barber here. How long have you uh, been? I've been here for about a year and a half now. A year and a half? I went to school and then I couldn't find a job for what I went to school with before. And then uh, Roberto actually gave me an opportunity to train you here. And then from then on, now I'm just here working, you know? Yeah. Liking uh, working here oh, so yeah, far? Oh yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. You guys are great. Uh, 
what, what are some of the things you know you kind of learned already that you think people should know? Basically, if you don't take the risk, you don't know. And just, just believing in yourself and, and having a good team behind you always helps, like I said. You take it day by day, just strategize a lot and work together as a team. And you should be, should be having no problems. For us, it's just happening. We're all working together. We have all the same passion. We're all on the same page, you know? So it was just basically connecting the dots. And we all got along, so like brothers. Just do what you love, man. Don't yeah. just do something because that's how we were taught when we were kids here. You do what you love, and the money and success will follow you as long as you put that time and effort into becoming successful. How's your words work so far? Good. <laughs> I always come here, man. Changing someone's look, you know? They can come in here and they can just leave uh, confident. Just, try, just trying to get better, you know? There's, there's so much things to learn in this uh, game. Endless, you know. And just the respect that I have for cutting hair, for the art of what we do. And we enjoy it, man. We like to, you know, like I said, have fun and just just come for the experience. Just experience it, and I guarantee you'll be coming back. You'll you'll enjoy it, and we welcome anybody in here. So. Thanks so much, uh, Shane, for letting me talk to you today. And, Thank you. Uh, all Appreciate the best it. With uh, the future of this business, Thanks my friend. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. This is what what yeah. happens when everybody walks away. Yeah. And that's the broom. The broom comes up. <laughs> You're in the wrong industry. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making me look beautiful again. Uh, <laughs> best to make an appointment as opposed to just walking in, or yeah, uh, we take them both. Lunchtime is usually a, a busy time, but we always ex accept walk-ins. Appointments are, are definitely recommended. <laughs> nice touch, kid. Yeah. All right. All right. DJ. That's how we end it. <laughs> Thank you, Five Star. It's been a great. Yeah, man. Perfect. Perfect. That's it. Let's get the music going. That was perfect, kid. <laughs> you better get better than that. <laughs> That's awesome.